What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we made it our we made it to Verbank City. Yes, I know. It was a quick episode, guys, but we just needed to get the week started. Do you guys believe me? Some of you guys are. Anywho, here we are in Verbank City, and uh, well, we're gonna start taking a tour, start doing some things, you know, visiting a few people, doing some other things. Getting some items, like grabbing an antidote, because, well, that could be a warning sign of what's to come. And I wonder what this place is. It looks pretty cool. This looks like a daycare. Okay, so, you see, my Pokemon used to be wimpy, but they got trained in the complex. And now they're very buff. Like, buff Bagwell. Okay, so, let's see. Yeah, nothing can happen right here. Children teach many things, so they are my teachers. Pokemon are your teachers. Okay. What about this kid right here? Stop running around. Jeez. Clerks of the Pokemon sell different items. Which is true. Okay, so there's nothing right there. Let's go right ahead and continue on right here. Like, there is a Pokemon gym right here, guys. Now, we could go in there, but that's not going to be a very, very good idea right now. Because, well, we don't have the Pokemon for it. And... Reshram is a legendary Pokemon, but I don't know it very well. Something about Reshram. It was two years ago, a bunch of people who identified themselves as Team Plasma tried to control Unova under the hero who was with the legendary white Pokemon Reshram. Now, I do believe it was the legendary black Pokemon because we did play Pokemon Black, right? I think. Oh, you are a Pokemon trainer? My grandchild was also visiting Pokemon gyms uh, with his Pokemon in various places collecting b badges. I wonder her, who her grandchild is. And like I said, there's the Pokemon gym. I do not want to go there. And uh, let's see. Talk to this person. See gears on. Okay. Nothing right there. Okay. So, let's see. I think we need to go right here because there is this individual right here. My medal is pretty, uh, very pretty, isn't it? If you solve the hint medals, riddles, you can collect more and more of them. Which is true, and I have not done that yet. And, well, let's see. Watching, uh, okay, Kenai. Okay, never mind. So, yeah, there really isn't anything that you can do right here, guys, except just, you know, take a tour and whatnot. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going into the Verbank Complex. Now, this is exactly where we need to be, guys, because there are two Pokemon that, well, I've had my eye on for quite some time. I've had my eye... And yes, we do need to train up for the next Pokemon gym. But before that, let's go ahead and talk to this person. Yo, this is a good deal. Why don't you trade me a Pokeball for my Great Ball? Sure, let's go right ahead and give him a Great Ball. That way, you know, we can have a diverse, uh, a, a diverse, uh, you know, group of Pokeballs right here. Now, I do not know what to do right here. Let's go right ahead and. Uh, Start looking around right here. Now, the Verbank Complex, you're going to be able to find some trainers, some Pokemon, some very, very rare Pokemon, and, well, I think there's something right here. I don't know. Now, if you talk to this guy, he's going to be like, Hey there, trainer. It looks like you're, you've are you got energetic Pokemon uh, there with you. Can I ask a favor? I need to get the workers in the complex fired up. How about it? Help a guy out, will you? Sure. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. There are new workers right here in the complex. Go get those three ra uh, raring to go. Okay, three, three guys. Now, there are quite a few things that we can do right here, guys, like get up to the pipeline right there. But what we need to do first is we're gonna be looking for some Pokemon. And would you look at that? Here's one of the Pokemon that we wanted to capture. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Magnemite. Which, well, many of you guys already know, it is an electric and steel type Pokemon. Now, the first thing that I've noticed in the team that I wanted to use early on was that, you know, the whole team was not going to be diverse. It was going to be, well, it was going to be diverse, but it's not going to be all dual type and all that crud. Uh, and you guys already know how much I love my dual types. And right now I'm getting my butt kicked. Holy crud. Okay. Come on, Magnemite. Be my Pokemon. And, well, we snap out of the confusion. Yes, we are hitting this Pokemon with physical attacks because we do not want this Pokemon to faint. Now, Magnemite, it is a very good Pokemon. I've always had my eye on it ever since the Generation 1, especially my brand new Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. But I realized that, hey, I already have an Electric-type Pokemon, and I do not like doing that to my uh, starter Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and throw a Great Ball. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball, be my Pokemon, and 
Bam! There it is, guys. We have caught ourselves our next Pokemon, Magnemite. And, well, let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here. Magnemite, the magnet Pokemon. The electromagnetic waves emitted by the units at the sides of its uh, head expel anti-gravity, which allows it to float. That actually makes pretty uh, pretty good sense. And, well, we already got a nickname picked out for this Pokemon. I think I've used it before. I'm going to use it again. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Magneto. That's right, Magneto. He's got, because he's got that Nito at the end of his uh, name right there. Yes, Magneto. Bam! Okay, so I'm going to go off screen right here, guys, because there is another Pokemon that I want to capture in this very area. And, uh, well, it's going to be taking me a while, so I'll be right back with you guys. <laughs> it didn't take me that long, guys. This is actually the very first try. So here is the next Pokemon that we want to capture. And yes, it is Growlithe. Oh my god, I've been wanting to use a Growlithe on my team for the longest time, guys. You don't you you guys have no idea. Growlithe to me is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time because it eventually evolves into a pretty darn good uh whatchamacallit, uh pretty good uh Arcanine right here. And well, we're gonna be throwing a heal ball. Come on, man! Stay in the ball. You're gonna be healed. That's right. Healed and there you go. I am throwing out the peace sign, guys. Whew, okay, alrighty. Feel like the weight's been lifted off my shoulders. And here we have Growlithe the puppy Pokemon. Extremely loyal to its trainer. It will bark at those who approach the trainer unexpectedly and run at them uh, run them out of town. And well, as many of you guys already know, we already have a nickname set for this Pokemon. Well, everybody, say hello to good old hold on just a sec. Good old butt. Butt. Yes, nah, I'm just playing. Good old Butkus. Why did I uh, name out my Butkus? Well, the Rocky movies. Say hello to Butkus. Now, I'm going to be healing up my Pokemon real quick, guys. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back. And, well, let's go ahead and take a look at our two newest Pokemon, Magneto and Butkus. So here we have Magneto, the magnet Pokemon. You know, electric and steel, very good dual type Pokemon. And it, had, it does have pretty good moves. Um, tackle, sup, uh, Supersonic, and Thundershock. Its ability, Magnet Pull, prevents Steel-type Pokemon from escaping, which is great. Because, well, you know, we might have a Steel-type Pokemon here or there that want to battle us and escape. Might have some kind of advantages. Now, the other Pokemon, Buttkiss. That's right. It has the butt in the cuss. So, the Fire-type Pokemon, level 11... And it does have four good moves, Roar, Ember, Leer, Odor Sleuth. Its ability is a Flash Fire, which powers up its Fire-type moves if it, hit, if it gets hit by one, which is great. Because uh, that right there is going to be uh, very, very useful once we get to the... Uh, well, once we get to other Pokemon trainers right here, as you can see, its attack and special attack is right up the, uh, through the roof right there. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually loving this one right here. So let's go right ahead and start using these new Pokemon because, well, Magneto is going to be essential to our to our battle in the Verbang Gym. They are poison-type Pokemon. And, well, let's see what this guy has to say. All right, time for Pokemon battle. Let's begin. Bring it on. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Mashiro. Does have that one Pokemon. And, well, I just realized we have a speed button. So let's go right ahead and use that speed button. And kick some butts right here. Look at that. Thundershock. There we go. And that was a critical hit. So one benefit that we have for Magneto is that it's a Steel-type Pokemon. Its defense is going to be right up there. Now, um, let's see. There was a question being asked on my Pokemon Sword Walkthrough that I would love to answer right now. And before we do that, Ace seems to have an item. Take that item. Found an Aura and Barrier. Completely forgot that Ace has the uh, pickup uh, ability. So, somebody had asked, why not speed up the battles in Pokemon Sword and Shield? Or my Pokemon Sword Walkthrough. Uh, it's very simple, guys. I'm actually using an emu not an emulator, but I'm actually using a capture card, the Elgato, let's see. I'm looking at it right now. The Elgato HD 60S Plus, and this is so different from uh, from, emula uh, from emulators, and that is that you know it doesn't it doesn't really speed up anything. It just you know it just captures what you're playing, 
and I'm actually, you know, recording this through the capture card on, as well as Camtasia and whatnot. So there's no way I can actually speed up the whole uh, the whole process right there. So that's that's the answer to the question right there. In a big old, you know, <laughs> in a big old what you call it answer right there. And look at that, we're kicking some butt. We're gonna stay put, and there is an Elicad right there now. You can actually capture Elicad in this area right here, and you know I was actually planning on doing that. Yes, we defeated this guy right here. So yeah, that was the answer to the uh, big old question right there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm actually using a, a capture card, guys, not an emulator. Uh, crap baskets. And just remember that, you know, uh, you got to go slow when it comes to walking through those pipes, guys. Uh, you can't be running because, yes, you will be misstepping. And if you stay uh, if you stay on the pipes way too long, you are bound to fall off. So just be aware of that right there. Now, there is an individual right here. Can't jump from that. And, well, let's go right here. Da, 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 da. Being a circus, circus person. And we got two people that we have to actually battle. So let's go right ahead and do that. Whew. Let's see. I'm going to get a lot stronger so I can impress Roxy. Okay. All right. Speed button. Okay. So, yes. Uh, capture card, guys. You got to get one. Um, I was actually... Oh, crud. I was actually planning on using a an emulator for the Nintendo 3DS, but it took a lot of, well, I don't know what it is, I don't know what it was, guys, but I think it took a little bit too much memory and all that stuff, so I decided that, you know what, I might as well just use, uh, what you might call it, the capture card, it didn't really cost that much to, to actually do so, so I'm actually happy with, with how it is. And there we go, defeated another Pokemon, level 12, and it is learning Helping Hand. Okay, so I've always had a question. What is Helping Hand? And this is the user assisted an ally by boosting the power of its attack. Uh, Odor Sleuth, what is this? Enables a ghost type target to be hit with normal fighting type attacks. It also enables evasive uh, target to be hit. Okay, so let's go with Aurora since we're not really going to be using that. And yes, we have defeated another Pokemon trainer. And well, let's see what he has to say. I want to get a lot stronger so I can impress Roxy. Okay, he said the same thing. Let's go right ahead and switch out. Let's go straight to Magneto, because he's got that Nito at the very end of his name. And now we can fall off right here. Talk to this individual. Every day is the same. I get bored, then things don't change, so I don't mind battling you. Alrighty, bring it on. Alright, he's taking on us with the Riolu now. This could be a little bit uh, difficult, because, yes, Riolu doesn't have its special or its physical attacks right there. And yes, it is paralyzed and crud. Look at that. Level 11, Sonic Boom. And you know what? I'm going to keep on battling Magneto. Sonic Boom at this point is 20 HP. And that is a lot of uh, that is a lot of that HP and Crud Baskets. We have been defeated. So let's go with Butkus. Crud Baskets right here. Let's go with an Ember Attack. And there we go. Butkus using that butt. Okay. Or it's okay if every day is the same when I'm working on this complex. It means there aren't any problems. That kind of sucks. Um, let's see. Let's go right ahead and get the heck out of here. There is a... Well, there's Pokemon right there. Let's go ahead and check it out. Like they said, there are some... Uh... Oh, it's an Audino. Now, we've gotten that explanation before, guys. Audino is a tank of a Pokemon to give out HP. So I am going to take advantage of this to actually get some more HP for my butt kiss. Because, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to need it. And, well... Look at that, okay, there we go, there we go, come on, let's go, double slap, it's getting pimp slap right here, good gravy, five, yeah, it's a uh, refresh attack, and there we go, 900 HP right there, or XP, that's a lot of XP right there, guys, look at that, and it's already at level 14, I'm loving this, okay, alright, so my Pokemon are getting to that appropriate level, so, what I'm going to do right now, guys, I'm going to go straight to the Pokemon Center. Heal, heal, up, heal up my Pokemon. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are back. Everybody's revived and good to go. Let's see. Oh, sure, I'll be your opponent. Right alongside my trusty Woobat. So, I think I picked the right opponent. So, let's go with the speed button right here. There we go. We got to love that speed button. Now, the reason we're using the speed button right here is because we can now. It is very, very awesome because... Well, I'm going to keep on bragging about it. The gaming computer has allowed me to do a little bit more, especially on the Desmume. 
and like this, it's gonna run. It's running smoothly, especially with a Camtasia. Oh my! Why? Why you have a Pokedex, don't you? I heard that the newest Pokedex has an amazing function called the Habitat List. Could you use it to show me what kind of Pokemon live in this complex? Oh, you don't have the Habitat List for the complex filled up yet? Oh no, that's pretty bad. I could have gotten a date off of her. Anywho, let's move on right here. We still have a few, well, we still have one more person to actually find, so let's go ahead and uh, locate this guy. So let's see, we're going right here, and, well, let's see, there's an item right there. So before we go there, let's go ahead and grab this, and we found ourselves the TM46 Thief. Look at that, okay, so let's move on and take on this new opponent. Working at this complex was my dream, but now that it's come true, I've gotten everything I want. What? The foreman said so? Okay, fine. We just have to battle, right? Yes, we do. Okay, so let's go straight for a quick battle right here. And this guy has a Magby. Like I said before, guys, you can actually find Magby right here into this area. And, well, I am not going to risk it. Let's go straight to Ace and it kicks a butt right here. So I got two doggy Pokemon right now on my team, which is pretty awesome. So let's go straight for a bite attack. There's a burn attack, and there it is. Flame body. Wow. We're, we're getting flamed right here. And, well, let's go straight for Sigh of the Torrent right here. Yes, we do have the backup. And Sigh of the Torrent is the best backup we have. And, well, let's go right ahead and do that again. That right there is uh, messed up. So here we go. Water gun attack for the win. And we get to level 17, so we're learning Razor Shell. So let's go ahead and check that out. And bam. Okay. Alrighty. And well, just like that, guys, Sigh of the Torrent is now evolving, which is great. We needed that. So look at us. Look at us. Our first evolution in our newest walk right here in Pokemon White 2. And it's our good old buddy, Sigh of the Torrent. You know, coming back where it left off and all that crap. So there it is, guys. We got ourselves Duat. And well,. I came to this complex so my Pokemon could accomplish a lot. That means that as a trainer, I have to work like crazy. True, very, very true. So let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Psy of the Torrent right here, Duat. As you can see, it is at level 17. It does have some pretty good moves right there. Look at that. Uh, it's a, well, it's, yeah. It's attack, is, it's physical attack is right there on point. So it's a good thing that we got ourselves Razor Shell. So. Before we do anything, let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon because, well, no one likes our Pokemon getting all beat up and all that crud, and unfortunately, one of our Pokemon cannot battle at this moment because, well, yeah, it is burnt, and I don't have a burnt heal, so actually, let's go straight for a potion right here and give this to Magneto, you know, the Nito. There we go. My Pokemon are at appropriate levels right now, and, well... Let's get the heck out of here, and let's see, where, oh, where do we go now? Now, we need to get to that individual right there, but how do we do that? Let's see, let's get off right here, and go right here. Huh, okay, so we need to get to him somehow. Wow, having to battle another Magneto, or another Magnemite, especially with the same kind of a... Uh, it's the same kind of a, what you might call it, uh, ability. Yeah, that, that, that kind of sucks right there. So we got to get to that third guy right, right over to the other side. And I am trying to step onto this area right here. Holy crud. All right, let's see. How do we get to this guy? I'm trying to figure it out. Can't jump right here. Maybe. Again, it's been a while, guys, since I've actually played this game. I Oh, yeah, we have to go right here. Okay. Never mind. Right here. And before we do anything, because I do not want to risk getting attacked by another Magnemite, let's go ahead and use a Repel. There we go. And talk to this individual. Hitting crude oil separates it into many different components. That That's what this distillation tower is for. It's also known as a topper, but I want to call it a distillation tower. Oh, my knowledge overflowed and it's uh, it was overheard. Okay, so he's simply running away. So let's go right ahead and move on right here because he's gonna. We gotta find this guy, and it looks like to me he's right over there. Yes, he is. Talk to him. The smokestacks of the complex rise up into the sky. The powerful silhouette is sure breathtaking, isn't it? By the way, they're burning up gas, waste gas. Recently, they found all sorts of uses for the gas, though. 
Uh oh. Oh, you overheard some of my vast stock of knowledge. Holy crud. So he is running away again. And, well, he's going to be right here to, towards this corner. Those gas holders are sure the inexpression of har harmony, aren't they? There's a reason behind that shape. A sphere is best, uh, best for withstanding the tremendous pressure inside. It would also be nice if they would draw a Pokemon on these gas holders, too. Oh, you have overheard some of my breathtaking knowledge. Breathtaking knowledge. Are you actually interested in what I have to say? That would be, or that would mean I have a complex buddy. That makes me really happy. Well then, take this with you. And we get ourselves an ether, which I guess will help. And well, I think that's pretty much it right there. So let's go right ahead and not use it to the repel and talk to the manager right here. And he's like, hey, you did it, didn't you? This is a token of my thanks. And we get ourselves the TM94 rocks match. The comp or this complex uh, is light or this complex is lively because everyone is so fired up and ready to go. That is true. Very, very true. Okay, so that was a pretty good episode right there, guys. We got three new Pokemon. And uh, well, it looks like we, we, we're going to be uh, battling. We're going to be training up our Pokemon just so we can get ready for the next gym. So, let's see. I think that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. Yes, we're going to be going into the Pokemon gym to get our second badge. In the meantime, off screen, I will be training up my Pokemon just a little bit. Just a little, little bit. And, uh, yeah. So, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, guys. The notifications button. And if you want to make a small donation to this channel, yes, the link is on the description right there below. I will see you guys in the next episode as we take on the next gym leader, Roxy. See you guys.